Welcome back to another video if you've seen our videos before and if you are new, welcome! My name is Hope and today I have for you guys yet another Vera Bradley haul. If you guys don't know, Disney and Vera Bradley have collaborated on many patterns over the last few years and I have shared quite a few of those patterns here on this channel. So if you missed it, I do have an entire Vera Bradley playlist that I will link up above for you guys to check out if you're interested in seeing any of the other collections that Disney and Vera Bradley have come out with. But this one is so exciting because it is the Little Mermaid collection. So the pattern is called Aerial Floral and then Aerial Floral Ditzy are the two patterns that came out this time. And this is only the second princess pattern that Vera Bradley and Disney have ever done. The first one was Bonjour Belle, which was back in September. And that one I actually was not able to shop and wasn't able to go to the launch because I was like one month post brain surgery recovery, but this one is my first one back and I'm so, so excited. I was excited to get to experience um, the launch, to get to actually go shop for these patterns. It's exciting to have another bright springtime pattern to share with you guys. So I actually didn't think I was going to pick up that much from this launch. I thought maybe I'll get one piece, maybe Abby will get one piece and we'll just show it with you. And then, this happened. <laughs> Somehow when I saw this pattern in person, it just spoke to me. The colors are like totally up my alley and I ended up with an entire bag of things from this launch. So here we are. <laughs> so I will go ahead and just jump right into what I got. Actually, as I'm looking at this bag, I don't think I got a single item in Aerial Floral, which is like the main pattern for this launch. I don't think I got a single thing in it which is really, really surprising to me, but it is a really beautiful pattern. It has Ariel herself in her mermaid form, and then it has Sebastian and Flounder um, kind of dancing throughout these beautiful like pink and blue flowers. Um, it was really beautiful, but it, they only made it in some of the items, and then some of the items were made in the Ariel Floral Ditzy, which are apparently the ones that I was drawn to. Now, as you guys know, if you've watched our videos before, I am not a huge, Ariel fan like she's not my favorite princess um, the movie itself isn't one of my favorite Disney movies but I will say the one thing that I truly love about this movie is the soundtrack the soundtrack and then the entire under the sea uh, song like that scene is my favorite part of the movie by far. And so when I saw that the Ariel Floral Ditzy pattern is based on the under the sea scene I was like okay I'm sold I definitely need some things in this pattern. So the first thing that I picked up um, may look familiar to some of you because I've picked up something similar in Vera Bradley Disney patterns before and that is this one. So this is the drawstring back sack in Aerial Floral Ditzy and this one is really cool because with this collection they released the very first um, Vera Bradley reactive line which means they're made from recycled plastic water bottles and this is the first time that they've made that material in a Disney collection so I was really happy to see that it fits the theme perfectly because we're saving the plastic water bottles from the ocean and this is ocean themed so like that just worked out perfectly but let me show you a close-up of the pattern now you guys can totally see why I'm obsessed with it right <laughs> So you have Sebastian, you have Flounder, and then you have all of their under the sea friends that we recognize from the movie. So you have the fish that are singing, you have the lobster who's like playing the steel drum clams. Look at the pocket on this one, you could see like little seahorses in there. Let me see, that right there is my favorite, the fish that are in the conga line. I just think they're so cute. You have the harp and like they're all playing different instruments. So this bag in itself is the drawstring back sack, which I do love this bag. Um, I, like I said, have another one that I have in my mini's garden party pattern, and I did really like that one, but it was kind of a canvas material, so it actually ended up being really, really heavy. So this one is like super lightweight compared to that backpack, so I knew I had to give this one a try. It is the cinch backpack, so you can just pull the 
um, sides. It becomes like a cinched bag style. And then these are like a really cool aqua piping that are super soft and squishy. So it makes it really comfortable to carry. And then it is just a solid blue on the inside of this bag. And then it says Disney Rear Bradley. That right there talks about the reactive material. So 16 plastic water bottles in one yard of fabric. And then there's a little zipper pocket on the back of this backpack. So this it makes a really, really good Disney Parks backpack because you have these like bungee pockets on the side with a pretty good like closure on them so you can put a water bottle in there. And then you do have the zip around front pocket as well. And even this front pocket has some organization in there. You have two slip pockets on the back wall there and then it's just the light blue inside the pocket as well. And then you have the Dear Disney Bear Bradley nameplate on the bottom. So yeah, I do really like the other cinch backpack that I have in Minnie's Garden Party. And this one, I felt like they just took it a step further and made it a little bit better. So I knew I had to pick this one up for sure. The next style I got is the one item that I was pretty sure I was going to get. Like when I saw all the options that they had, I was like, this is the one that I want. I think it's just a good, it like encapsulates everything about the collection, but it's kind of a smaller piece. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of like Ariel or The Little Mermaid, the movie. So I thought, you know what, this is a good like little piece to get just to kind of remember this collection by. And this is the RFID travel passport wallet. It's so cute. It features flounder on the front and it says, put your best fin forward so it's punny it's like this beautiful aqua color which is my favorite color you can see flounder down there at the bottom and disney Vera bradley has come out with a few different passport wallets um, throughout their collections of the past and i haven't really found any of them that seemed super functional for me and like how I would use it and this one I've noticed they've taken like bits and pieces of those different passport wallets and they've blended them together to create this product and I'm really really happy with how this like looks and how it functions so I definitely knew I needed to pick this one up so let me show you up close so you have a Vera Bradley snap closure on the front. It does come with a little ring on the top here. So you could clip it to your keys. You could clip it to a lanyard and kind of wear it around your neck. Um, there's a lot of different options. You could clip it to the inside of your bag. Like you could do a little bit of everything with that little loop. And then it has uh, Sebastian on the back. It says Disney Vera Bradley. And then you have more of the under the sea uh, characters. So you have like the seahorse. Well, I even got a little snail up there at the top. And then there is a little coin purse on the back. The pattern actually continues into the pocket, which I think is a really good design detail um, that I actually didn't even notice before. So I love that. And then when you open this snap and you open it up, this is where the passport wallet comes in. So you do have the two little slide features here so you can stick your passport in there when you travel. Um, I also think this would make a really good wallet when you're not traveling, you could use this as a billfold and just stick your bills on the sides. You do have Ariel on the little pocket here, which this is actually the only Ariel I think in my entire haul today. Um, but that's what she looked like in the pattern, super gorgeous. And then this is an example of the flowers that were in the Ariel floral uh, pattern. Super, super pretty. You do have a little bit of a fabric detail here in the center. I got perfect placement in the center, which I did not even try to do. Let's see if I can pull this tag out. So you have uh, Sebastian there, you have the fluke is the Duke of Soul, and then here is what the tag looks like, Disney Vera Bradley, that talks a little bit about the pattern and how they came up with it. And then on this side, you have your card slots. There are one, two, three, four, five card slots. They are all RFID protected. And then it does have a little ID window here on the bottom, so you can put your ID in there as well. So I just thought this was like the most functional piece. I thought this style was super cute. The design is adorable. And this one, like I said, is the RFID travel passport wallet and it retails for 55. So this is the only piece I think in the entire collection that is like a faux leather material. So it's super, super nice to the touch. And yeah, I'm really happy that I picked this piece. Up. Next up is the piece that Abby picked up from this collection and we talked like 
you know, of what kinds of things we wanted to pick up, like were, were we really interested in getting the collection, like what pieces would we use the most, and she like beyond a shadow of a doubt said like get me the loungewear because this is again the first time that Disney and Vera Bradley have come out with like pajamas and loungewear in their Disney collections which again super super exciting. I think they did have a t-shirt with the Sensational Six launch uh, back in 2021 um, but it was just a t-shirt like there wasn't anything else. This collection there is a t-shirt like a pajama shirt there are pajama pants and then there are also pajama shorts and so abby was like i need the shorts like she lives in like loungewear and comfy clothes and she like does the, all the editing and everything for these videos in comfy clothes and so i was like of course you definitely need these and these are what she picked out look how cute these are so these, um, I think the pajama shirt itself had Ariel on the front. It was like, like a silhouette design of Ariel. The pajama pants had uh, the Ariel floral outside pattern with Ariel and the big flowers and everything mixed throughout. And then the pajama shorts were in the Ariel floral ditzy. And they're so, so cute. So let me show you up close. Here is what the pattern looks like. So you have those same characters mixed throughout with Flounder and Sebastian. You've got the conga line of fish, all the different um, animals playing their instruments and dancing and jamming. And then you have an elastic waist with a uh, cinch as well. So you can either cinch it or use the elastic on these. And then they did have these, I think in size th small through one X possibly 2x but I think maybe it was just 1x but these are just so cute they do have pockets on the side which are pretty fabulous as well and they're actually kind of deep I was surprised at how deep the pockets are on these shorts so because when we bought these in store um, we were at BB Disney Springs they don't have like a dressing room in the store so Abby wasn't sure whether or not to get one size or the other size and so we ended up buying one of each and then because one size fit her and the other size that she got happened to fit me I decided to go ahead and keep the other shorts as well because we just felt like yeah if we have matching shorts like that is so fun so let me open these from the plastic so now we have matching shorts <laughs> So we are totally going to be twinning with our Ariel Floral Ditsy shorts. And yeah, again, like I just, we love loungewear in this house. It's like so, so comfy. And honestly, I thought about getting the pajama pants because they were super cute too, but they were like a Jersey knit full length pant and just, they're not very practical with living in Florida. It's hot most of the time. So the shorts are definitely the smarter way to go for us, but the pants were also super, super cute. So. We ended up with two pairs of the shorts and I'm super happy about that. The next piece that I picked up was actually a surprise to me. I didn't know <laughs> that I needed this um, piece, but it is brand new with this uh, Disney launch. So I thought, you know what, it's a new style. I feel like I want to try it out and see if I like it. And that is the mini backpack in Ariel Floral Ditsy. And this one is the cotton piece. I think it's the only cotton piece that I actually got the first one was reactive the passport covers faux leather yeah so this is the only like cotton bag that I picked up from this launch um, but like I said it's a new style and it's just too cute to pass up honestly it's the cutest little backpack I've ever seen so I knew that I had to uh, get this and try it out so it is a backpack so it does have the two backpack straps on it that are adjustable so you can make them really really tight or really loose based on what feels comfortable they have these little uh, pockets on the outside that you could stick like your phone in or a water bottle, things that you want to grab kind of quickly. Let me show you the pattern placement that I got. I did just try to get as many of the little characters in it as possible, kind of mixed throughout the pattern. I also love these little fish. They're like a trio of singing fish. I like to think they're triplets and I don't know, I think that's really cute. <laughs> and then did get some pretty good placement on the pockets as well. 
So that's what the pocket looks like. And then the cool thing with this little backpack is it's a drawstring backpack, but it also has a snap. So you have a flap with a snap that will find itself. And it's one of like the nice um, magnetic snaps. And then this is what the drawstring looks like. So it has a drawstring pull on it. So you can open it up really nice and wide to get things in and out. And then you can cinch it closed when you're using it as well. And it does have a little bit of organization on the inside. You have a slip pocket on the back wall here and it says Disney Bear Bradley nameplate there. And then you have one slip pocket on the front side of the backpack as well. So I actually was amazed with how much function is in this tiny little backpack. But yeah, I was just super curious to kind of see what this style was like. And it's just adorable. Like if you make anything in mini size, I'm here for it. Like I want it for sure. So um, yeah, just thought it was too cute to pass up. <laughs> okay, so that was all the items that I purchased on launch day. And there is one other item that I actually bought through the website because they did not have these in stock. Um, at Beer Bradley Disney Springs the day that we were there buying this collection and I really really wanted a pair because I thought of all the things that I could get from this collection what would I get the most use out of and this is another first time item for Disney and Beer Bradley so I thought you know what I should get it <laughs> like try it out and so these we actually I think they launched on the website on launch day so we were able to snag them um, through the website and that is the croc slides so for the first time ever there are Disney Vera Bradley Crocs so a three-way company collaboration and I was just so so excited to try something new so there were two different styles of crocs they had the croc slides which are these and then there was a cro like the classic crocs clogs like the normal style of croc that you see everywhere um, and the crocs clogs were in the aerial floral pattern and then the slides are in the aerial floral ditzy so clearly I am just a ditzy fan because I did not get a single thing in aerial floral which totally works it's fine for me and like I said I'm not the hugest aerial as a princess fan um, like she's not my favorite princess so I'm totally okay with her not being on the merchandise um, but yeah, I actually didn't realize that these were an Aerial Floral Ditsy until I got them in the mail. So I placed the order on launch day. I'm really glad I did because they sold out on the website so quickly and I don't even know. They might be restocked now. I'm not sure, but yeah, they've been super, super popular. So I got the Crocs slides in Aerial Floral Ditsy and I got a size eight because that is the shoe size that I wear. Um, and I do love the placement that I got on these. So I was a little bit nervous about placement just because when you order pieces from VeraBradley.com, you get what you get. You don't really get to pick your placement. So I really had no idea what I was going to get on these. Um, and honestly, I could not be more happy with them. Check out these Crocs slides. They are so cute. So they just have the two straps that grow across the top. And then it says iconic Crocs comfort. And then you have Vera Bradley Disney printed there on the base. And look at the placement that I got. So I have a full Sebastian on this foot, a full flounder on this foot. I got this lobster guy who's playing like the steel drums, which I love him. He's one of my favorites. I got these little seahorses here. Both of the shoes do come with the Crocs gibbets. So this you can remove from them or you can leave them on there. Um, so I have, let's see, what do I have on here? I have the little seahorses. I have the three singing sisters here that are the fish that are like singing a trio. Got another little flounder there on the side. And then on this foot, I have the harp, person playing the harp. I have a conga line, which the conga line is one of my favorites. So I have a conga line on this foot. And then I think I have another conga line over here. So I was super excited to have two of those. And then I think I have, yeah, the fluke is the Duke of Soul over here as well. So super, super happy with these. Nobody is like terribly cut off. There's a little bit of flounder cut off there, but other than that, like everybody's pretty much intact, which is amazing. 
I'll show you guys what the back of these look like. They do have really good treads on them. They look basically like normal Crocs from the bottom. Now, I obviously can't tell you guys what I think of these as far as wear goes because I have not worn them yet. Um, let me show you guys what the tags look like. So, you have the classic Crocs tag with all their sizing info and everything. And then this is the special Disney Vera Bradley tag on this side. And then it just says Disney Vera Bradley Crocs there. So I was super excited to get a hold of these and honestly to just be a part of history. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the first three-way collaboration with a Disney Rear Bradley item is super exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to try these out, see how I like them. Let me know if you've ever tried Crocs slides or Croc sandals. Did you like them? What do you think about them? Um, I've never had them before, so I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. I think that's everything that I got from this collection. Let me know in a comment, did you guys pick up anything else from this collection? What pieces did you get? I'm super curious to know. This collection, from what I heard, has sold out like insanely fast. I really don't even know at the time that I'm filming this video if any of these pieces are still available. Um, I will link the Veer Bradley website down below as well as the phone number for Veer Bradley Disney Springs store. If you guys want to try checking out the website, checking out Veer Bradley uh, Disney Springs and seeing what they have left in this collection, I've heard it's been like one of the best selling Disney Veer Bradley collections ever, which I don't doubt because Ariel is super popular. The Little Mermaid as a movie is super popular and these patterns are stinking adorable. So I totally do not, you know, I'm not surprised that it's sold out like crazy. I am really hopeful that because we've seen two Disney princess patterns or collections already, that they will continue making Disney princesses. You guys know I really love Cinderella. I really love Snow White. I really love Frozen. So if we could see any of those princesses on patterns, you better believe I am getting like the entirety of the collection. So yeah, let me know also in a comment down below if you could have Vera Bradley make any princess collection, who would you want? Because Abby got Belle back in September. That's one of her favorite princesses. Um, and so she, she has her princess. So now I'm just like, I want one of mine. I want Cinderella, I want Snow White, I want Frozen. Technically, if they did Frozen, Abby and I would both get a lot of the collection because I like Anna, she likes Elsa. We both like the movie as a whole, so we'd have to split that one. But <laughs> I'm just super curious, like who would you want in a Vera Bradley pattern uh, if you could have any princess? Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know um, if you want any specific reviews or review videos on any of these pieces. I really do like doing bag reviews and product reviews for you guys. So of any of the items that I showed in this video, what would you like a review on? Would you like a review of the slides? Would you like a review of the backpacks? Like, let me know. Um, and I would be happy to do that for you guys as well. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future Vera Bradley or Disney hauls from us. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.